welcome back so now let us see how to get this cucumber package into our cypress project so for that let's go to the documentation in the cypress official website so here go to examples so they have given a cucumber related instructions in the community recipes section select that and that will take you to one github page okay so here they have given one project as a sample on how to work with cypress and cucumber but unfortunately they did not give proper installation instructions here in this page but you can get that by going to the home page of this guy brain family because he is the contributor for development of cucumber in cypress okay so you will see one more repository cypress cucumber preprocessor so this is the actual plugin what this guy has developed to form a nice integration between cucumber and cypress so here where you will get all the instructions and step by step process to utilize your cucumber framework okay so first you have to install the plugin by running this uh, plugin name cypress cucumber preprocessor so this plugin i think but this module help you to play around with cypress and cucumber integration okay so you should have this package in your project so let's do that i'll go to my visual studio and i would say npm install i'm giving hyphen hyphen save dev so that entry will get stored in package.json file it takes some time to get all the dependencies perfect so it updated 12 packages and it have successfully installed um, cucumber related plugins into our project so go to the package.json and make sure that you see one entry like this cypress cucumber preprocessor okay so once you are done with that our next step you can see here so once you add this plugin you have to give this plugin knowledge to your project okay so you can do that by writing this step on file processor cucumber in plugins index.js so basically when you run any test in the cypress project first it will load all the plugins present in this index.js okay only after it loads successfully your cypress project will be able to detect cucumber related syntaxes right so if you add this line in this plugins as this is executed before your test execution and all loading will happen here and you can work with your tests right so if you go to your project plugins um you will see it here plugins index.js at this time you don't have any plugin available so in our project we did not come across a situation where we want to load any plugin before you execute your framework but now we came across that okay so you already have syntax available like module dot exports everything so what all you need to do is just copy this line inside and then you should also expose this by importing and you can read the description so this function is called when a project is opened or reopened okay whenever you start the project this function will be called and it to use use it to give various events cypress will support right so you have successfully given the knowledge of cucumber preprocessor in your plugins index.js nice and next so when you ask cypress to run your tests by default it will run all the tests which have .js extension right that's what we are doing until now because cypress supports javascript files so it's using .js but if you want to run cucumber files when i say cucumber you will try to execute this gherkin related scenario okay so you won't run actual test you will write the description like this and when you run this automatically the code which is linked to these steps will get executed in sequence but overall you will just trigger this scenario right so we create these scenarios in a file with a dot future extension 
so basically we call them as a feature files okay wherever you write your scenarios that related file is called as a feature file in cucumber terminology that feature file should be written with the dot feature extension so that means if you want to run your cucumber framework you have to execute dot feature files but until now by default cypress thinks that i have to run test cases only with the dot js so you have to explicitly tell uh, to your cucumber to your framework that also trigger dot feature files okay so you need to add this line test files dot feature so that you are overriding existing behavior to cypress.json and you see I added here. So when you check in your system, it looks something like this. So you should add one more entry key value. So it not only runs .js files, this will also look into dot feature files, right? This is very important. Great. So we told successfully Cypress to trigger feature files. We also loaded plugins. We successfully downloaded them. Everything is done. Now, they were saying that step definitions. I'll come to this point later that why do you need this uh, point? Because um, if you see your feature file, every feature file is linked to one step definition, right? In that file, you will write a linked code so that it will try and execute that. So how do you know how your feature file know where is my step definition file? Okay, so you might define somewhere that globally, right? So you have to set one attribute so that your feature file will check um, for your step definitions in your local folder first. If it do not find, then it will check in the global folder. At this time, you may not understand or correlate much about this, but let's let me write this step in our package.json and later I will come back and explain why the importance of this, okay? So they have clearly told that adding this section to your package.json file. Okay, so I will add here. All right, so that's it. You are all set. Now you can go ahead and start writing your scenarios and their respective step definition, step definition files. Okay, we'll do that in our next lecture. Thank you.